Well, hello, everybody. Um, I am glad I don't live where certain animals live. Well, I'd like to see them, and people probably say the same thing about alligators. The sea lions scare the crap out of me. Like, dolphins, if they were more mobile and, like, could get on land, would probably um, be a bigger issue, if that makes any sense. Um, dolphins can't really do much when it comes to like I mean they can do stuff to you if they're in the water and they're not really aggressive towards people but if they were if they were mean they'd be a huge issue but sea lions can are mean and they can go on land so like it's like a more evil version of a dolphin and dolphins are anyone who knows dolphins knows they're evil <laughs> the 14 year old boy was bitten twice by a sea lion that may have been sickened by a local toxic algae bloom while swimming in Del Mar, California on July 4th. Uh, Dane Blair was spending a holiday at the beach with his family on Tuesday when a sea lion about 30 feet away made eye contact with them and quickly dipped below the surface, the teenager told. So it's just dun dun, dun just like that. He just sees the sea lion. Next thing I know, it, t <laughs> it takes a big bite here on my leg, <clears throat> Blair told the outlet, pointing at his right knee. But the marine mammal wasn't done. It then took a chomp at his behind. It definitely hurt my butt because it took a big, big bite, said Blair, uh, who will start high school this fall. He tried to flee to shore, but the sea lion refused to let go of his rear end, he said. Ooh, no little, little cuts right there. Uh, once he reached the sand, he was able to wrestle himself loose and run towards his family, he said. Blair's father, Brian, took photos of the wound. Sea lion's teeth broke through, through Blair's bathing suit and skin, causing bleeding, but the team did not require stitches. After the attack, the sea lion remained in the surf as waves slapped against him. Lifeguards, noticing something was off about the animal, phoned SeaWorld, who captured the animal and tried to nurse it back to health. Uh, it looked really tired. Its eyes were closed and its mouth was twitching, Blair said. His father noted it clearly wasn't doing well. A SeaWorld spokesperson told the outlet that it appears sea lion is experiencing poisonous effects of an algae bloom off the San Diego coast. Fish are happy eating the algae, but the animals that eat the fish can be impacted, according to SeaWorld. Uh, it does not change the behavior and it does change the behavior and cause neurological symptoms and cardiac symptoms in sea lions and dolphins, she told NBC San Diego. Sea lions in Orange County to the north have been attacking beachgoers believed to be caused by an algae bloom. Is it anything like red tide? Demoic uh, acid is a, a neurotoxin that impacts the brain, your hippocampus in particular, and the result of uh, in seizure activity, and those seizure activities can result in animals acting anywhere from completely comatose and unresponsive to very hyperactive, confused, and disoriented, Deming said. People were bitten on three separate beaches in recent, uh, in recently in Orange County's uh, in Orange County, forcing local officers to put up signs warning swimmers of the aggressive sea lions. So I wonder if it's anything like red tide, because, I mean, that stuff kills dolphins. Uh, sea lions aren't acting nor uh, like themselves. They're more aggressive because of an algae bloom in California. So there, there's the algae, I guess. I wonder if it's anything like red tide. Um, I mean, he's talking about it right now, but I don't have my speaker in. So, oh, well. But, um, oh, that's a dead dolphin. Okay, so it's killing the dolphins too, apparently. Uh, Southern California beachgoers are being warned that sea lions are showing unusual signs of aggression as they continue to be exposed to a toxic allergy bloom. Warning signs were placed at Salt Creek Branch in Strands Beach after two reports this week of sea lion-related injuries. Uh, the first incident court occurred at Salt Creek on Monday when a juvenile told lifeguards that he had been bitten while wading in the water. He was treated and released to a guardian with the advice to seek additional treatment at an urgent care clinic. Warning, there has been aggressive seal slash sea lions in this area. Please remain alert and contact the lifeguard if sighted. Ooh. Sick animals. Aggression toward people is not typical, but the mammals... Okay, so the toxic algae bloom... Uh, Pseudonychia is consumed by fish, which are then eaten by sea lions. The fish carry a neurotoxin called demoic acid that the algae uh, produces, especially poisoning the sea lions, where it said it literally affects their brains. The bloom had been traced off of waters in central 
California and the northern reaches of Southern California. Let's see. So it's called Pseudo Nichia. Let's see if this is the same. Um, Minnesota in Florida. I'd be very interested if it's the same thing. In California. Oh, it's the green algae. Okay, we got that in um, like the Lake Okeechobee runoff one year. It was just like that super blue green algae, the really bad stuff. So it's not the exact same thing, but I mean, it kind of does the same things. At red tide, if you breathe it in, um, it can cause respiratory issues. Um, it attacks um, the fish's gills, like it, it just clogs it up and attaches and it releases a neurotoxin, the same sort of thing, where basically it, it just causes them to suffocate, like they just die, they stop living. There's, there's probably more in depth than that. But if it gets bad enough, the, any sea mammals that will b go through it, like they'll breathe in and they'll just constantly be breathing in this neurotoxin um, and it can kill them. And dolphins and manatees will die from it as well. So it's not the same thing, but it's along the same lines. And it has to do with warming sea temperatures and things like nitrates in the water. So like runoff from um, the like fertilizers and stuff. That's a big contributor to all this. And um, it it can like it can wipe out an area like for the past couple of years here in uh, central Florida, off of Pinellas, especially it's been so bad. Like, I mean, I've seen thousands of dead fish a few years ago. There was literally like they were getting these cleanup efforts because of how many dead fish were in the water. It was sickening, not just the smell because it smells like death, but like the water turns like sewer brown. It's not red. It's like sewer brown. It's like disgusting. It looks like chocolate milk. And, um, and it's terrible. And you could see it coming in. And you're just like, well, there's a bunch of dead fish and you just see them floating. And then they wash up on the beach and they start just rotting because nothing wants to eat them either. So, I mean, all these algae blooms are terrible and they keep on happening. And, um, I mean, luckily it didn't make the dolphins aggressive. It just killed them. It's not good that the dolphins are dying. I don't want dolphins to die. They're just not as cute as people make them out to be. Like, it's always the really smart animals that are like the worst animals. Always. Like, people, people are sitting here like, well, humans are terrible. Well, the only reason that a dolphin isn't as terrible as a human is because they don't have hands to be able to do the same things humans can. Have you seen what chimps do? You know, gorillas are definitely more laid back, but nobos are more laid back. So it's not like every single one of them. But, like, even then, they're, they live some gruesome lifestyles. They'll kill each other. I mean, gorillas are vegetarian, so, like, it's not like they're going out hunting like a chimp does. But... The smart animals are always the ones that can cause the most damage. In a sea lion being relatively up there in intelligence, if it starts going nuts, if a dolphin started going nuts, it could easily do so much more damage than any of the like sharks. Sharks are just acting on basic instinct. But sea lions and dolphins, they're 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 intelligent. They they're thinking about what they're doing. It may not be on the same level as humans, but it's up there. I guess my whole point in saying that is that more stuff like this is going to happen. And especially as like, it, I don't, you can say global warming, whatever. Like I, I'm under the impression that yes, humans have an effect on the global climate because of, you know, stuff we release in the atmosphere. I am under no doubt in that. I'm not a climate change denier, but I am also realistic in the terms that, um, there's only so much we can do and we we need to do something, but it also is a natural thing. Like we're technically still in an ice age because we have ice caps on the poles. Like think about that. Throughout most of history, there has not been ice on the poles. It has been warm enough that the whole there was forests on Antarctica. Like li listen to that. We're used to it being a certain way and we want to keep it that way. It's understandable, but it's not realistic the world changes and we're just worried that it's changing too rapidly is the issue and animals won't be able to keep up well guess what 
the world has a way of cleaning everything up. And if we're in the middle of everything getting wiped out and we were just the catalyst for it happening, in the end, the world's going to be in a better off position. Not that I want that, but like all these things keep on happening. And I know I'm rambling now and it's not nothing to do with the original article. But like my point is stuff like this is going to keep on happening and it doesn't surprise me one bit. And they're probably going to get worse. And I hope that somehow I look back in 30 years, 40 years from now and I'm like, yeah, I was wrong. It got a lot better. <laughs> let me hope that. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Um, I, I Sorry, dude. I'm sorry you got bit, you know, the kid and uh, sea lions scare me. Why are you living in California? <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Keep it wild. <laughs>